Creators, today's challenge is reflections. The rules are completely open to interpretation, but reflection is the primary element. We're getting down to the final five and judges are gonna be much harder on all of you. Remember, the devil is in the details, so you have to balance risk reward. You will have 10 minutes to set up and create an image, and as you know, today's challenge, one of you will be going home. We are heading into the final four, so it is an exciting time for all of you, so good luck. For equipment today, we have cameras and lenses from Canon, all lighting provided by Westcott. You have access to the FJ80, FJ200, and FJ400 series lights, and a plethora of light shaping tools. Once your 10 minutes is up, you must hand over your memory card and return to the waiting room where you will not be able to view or edit your images until everyone has completed the task. But before we get started, each of you will select a card to determine who goes first. All right, hey, so today is reflections. Uh, looking forward to this. I'm gonna try and do something a little bit different. I don't do a lot of reflection shots, so uh, I think today is gonna be interesting for me, but we're gonna really work hard and try and use what we have uh, to create something a little bit different than what I think everyone else is gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, create something pretty great today. All right, so what are we? What camera lens are we using today? So I've got the, uh, the R5. Okay. I'm start out shooting with the 85. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna use a uh, well, let's get FJ80 with the grid on it here. All right, perfect. With. And we're gonna use a couple of, uh, we're gonna try and implement a few other things here and see what we can do. And you want the 7200 with us? I do want a 7200 as well. Okay, um, I gotcha. I may end up going with something a little bit wider, so I might just grab something to take with me. Uh, uh, maybe like a 3870? Yeah, 2870. Give the whole best. range? Yes. All right. So I think that's what we're gonna do. The timer starts now. Hey Siri, set timer 10 minutes. Her here? Yeah, I think I'm gonna start with her there. Right? And I want you looking up this way, but I want to create a double uh, reflection right here of a little bit of your dress, but mostly looking up that way. All right. Lights here. right down to the right to the glass and look up and out that window over there. Tilt your nose towards me, nose towards me. Was uh, pretty intense, so we'll see what he got. Yes, yeah, so am I sweating? Right, <laughs> so I'm, I'm hot. We're working. Um, I think I did. Uh, I got the shot that I wanted to get. Uh, I felt like uh, at the end I missed a couple of shots I wanted to get. I know I did miss those, but uh, the, the beginning, we nailed it. I think we really did get a couple of great shots. Now what's going to come down to is if I can get in there and get the edit that I want on those images, and uh, see what we can do here. All right, who's number two? Jess Hess, here we go. Game time, girl. Um, I, I really want to try to set her, you know, at the bar, do like an old, old type, uh, old style, like she's waiting for a date, and maybe she was stood up, make it look kind of uh, old timey and fun. Maybe we'll see, see if it works out for me. Give you a time check, you're at eight minutes. Oh, ready? Turn around and I'm gonna say one, two, three, spin, you're gonna spin back to me, and I'm gonna try to get some movement, okay? Pretty good right now, actually. All of my ideas that I thought wouldn't work uh, seem to have worked. 
So, my fingers are ridiculously crossed. How are we feeling? Good. Yeah. Ish. Pressure is compressing. It is pressure time heavy. is compressing. You guys, the ideas are becoming bigger and bigger, and time is getting feeling like it's getting shorter and shorter, even though it's the same mm -hmm. uh, 10 minutes, all right? So, yeah. let's keep going. Who's up next? Bethany? That's me. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so yesterday I had a win, but it didn't really feel like a win because I felt like I had a plan, but I had a one-step plan. And now we need to go into a multi-step plan to really feel prepared. I was panicked about reflections until I remembered that underwater photography is all about reflections and connecting with that other plane of view. So I have a couple of concepts that I'd like to run today. Hopefully time allows for all of them because I think they're really impactful. All right, so lighting, you want two FJ80s? Two FJ80s. One with a teal logo, both gridded. Yes. Okay, we got your 2870. On there. And I am hand let's holding your 1535. Hand hold the 1535. And then um, let's potentially take one of the strobes with nothing on it. Okay, well, nose to the glass. There you go. Eight and a half minutes, just so you know. With this light, I need it right here. You're gonna fire it right back into my lens. What group is that, Sal? See? Very good, let's move. Okay. I want you on this ladder. Take like two steps up here. I'm gonna take your head, bring it to your shoulder because it's like you're gonna be looking at your reflection, walking away. Assistant of the year. Let's try to do shit right. Oh, that belongs to Alex. Three minutes. We can do this. I think that was the fastest 10 minutes I've had in this competition. Um, I'm hoping it works out. It's high risk, high reward. Hey. Oh, come on, Mimic now. I don't know. We're starting. So get ready. I think I'm going for the eyes. Close up something reflected in the eyes, um, that very tight face shot. That's my first idea. We'll see what happens with that. Um, if I have time, I may run into the hallway and work with the mirror. I pull them up, I'll see if I got something in the eyes that, um, you know, a reflection that I was going for. So until I see the photos, I don't know, but she's gorgeous and we'll see. Honestly, I'm just getting aggravated watching them work. Their inability to adjust their workflow at this point in the competition is just completely unfathomable to me. They're so caught up in the pose that they're not paying attention to any of the details that are going on. They're actually shooting before they get dialed in on their lighting. And it's like filming a Hollywood movie without lights. Like it doesn't make any sense. And then they're not checking their work. Like this is not how you work as a professional photographer. These guys gotta step it up. Okay, for this shot, what I want to do is I want to go in the bathroom. There's a really long mirror, and what I want to do is I'm going to take my camera, I'm going to put it on a five-second exposure, and I'm going to pop it off uh, pop the flash remotely, and then get multiple exposures of her walking away from the mirror. So it's an advantageous try, but I'm going to go after it. Hey Siri, set timer 10 minutes. Group A, so you can set your power point. Okay. It's going to be a five second picture, okay? But the camera's going to just stay open the whole time, if that makes sense. Okay, we got a lot of toilet paper back here. Oh, Jesus! Action. That picture looks 
amazing. bathroom and we used the mirror and we did a multiple exposure and I think it came out really really great uh, we also came here and tried to do some reflections off some water in the floor which I don't think came out so great but it was a good Hail Mary ditch effort in case the other one doesn't work <laughs> I hope it's worth it. <laughs> all right guys what do you think of the uh, challenge today difficult difficult yeah, well, Leroy decided to uh, wash the floors and pour water all over it. So, uh, yeah, almost shorted out the electrical system. So, pretty been a good day. All right, you know the drill. 30 minutes to call and edit your best image. Remember the challenge today, reflections. So, see what you got. challenge today was um, reflections and so it's open to interpretation uh, I didn't give them parameters any kind of lighting uh, anywhere in the facility reflections all right, all right. Mm -hmm. this is the first yes. image you want to just yes. kind of go through and or you want you want to critique let's critique each of these and then we'll, we'll you, you like that <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. this I mean, on a scale of one to ten, difficulty level. Uh huh. I don't know if this one, is. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know if this is the winning image for me because a little bit of the room is um, distracting, doesn't lend right. to the shot. But as far as like difficulty level goes creativity. on a shot like this, creativity, the just is wow, it's off yes. the charts. Yes, I uh, agree on this one. For the yeah. winner, I can't get there. There's just too many other things not polished in the image. Like I'm drawn to these two on the left. They're so strong, fully polished. Yeah, I do. I, I am I drawn really, to that one. I'm very drawn to this, but like yes. all I want is for this not to be that dull. Like put a yellow flash there. Change it quotes, do something with that just awful color From a wall. fashion editorial perspective. It's awesome. This is yeah. what I would go Like for. this would be in Vogue. All right, yes. we, when we talked on the previous challenge, I acquiesced to both of you. I'm not gonna acquiesce on this one. Here's what I see in this and you're gonna have to Prove me wrong, get me off this. I got a door frame going through her head, a vertical line. I got another vertical line here, another horizontal line here. I got a door that's distracting there, another horizontal line there. I'm not getting to an actual image. I'm just looking at a lot of distraction in a final image. I absolutely applaud the maker. This is not the worst image. This person should continue on in the series, but compared to the other images that we have up, that are fully polished, fully th thought through. I'm really having a hard time getting to this as the winner. I'm sorry. It's just so it's unique. It's just so good. All right, we're gonna it's have so we're gonna have to vote. Let's start with the, let's start with the other one. one. <laughs> Which other with one? The, the, the one who's going. Through. All right. You'd rather you rather change this up a little? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it was just. Well, what are we looking at here? What yeah. is the challenge here? Agreed. We were very we hard on them yesterday, gone. and said you have to adhere mm. to the challenge. And to me, this, yes. That's not a good enough interpretation. I just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not saying it's an amazing one, but I'm saying it's interpreted. Yeah. And I think this is a cleaner image than that. It's a cleaner image, but this maker, again, level of difficulty, right? So we're, you guys are sitting here rewarding the number one image, which is technically really a, not a good image. Uh, and you guys are picking that as a num number one image. Now we're coming back to the worst image and we're going to say this is bad because technically it's got a problem. Well, the, the winning image you guys are picking technically has multiple problems. That thing would never make it through competition. But it will make it on a magazine, though. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about that. Not my magazine. Vogue. Vogue. All right. But, so, 
again, if we're going to be willing to, I'm saying we need consistency in judging. If we're going to be willing to ignore certain technical flaws, then I don't want to see this, this maker go home for that flaw. I think they interpreted the challenge correctly. Yes, correct. This person, did. I just do not feel, I, I'm losing, I don't see it. That is a polished image. That is a mm -hmm. solid mm -hmm. image. That, yes. would, that would be in a magazine. Okay. Yeah, would it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right. <laughs> Doesn't sound too confident about it. I'd put yeah. it in a magazine. I mean, this wins for creativity just... and level of difficulty 100%. But I think overall, that's probably your... That's a fully polished image. Fully polished it's a fully image. polished. I agree with that. I am just the uh, point that they for made the, record, the I love effort this <laughs> for the difficulty of this. I find it very inter interesting mm -hmm. from a fashion photographer perspective. Like this would be in all magazines. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm loving this image. I'll fight you. Okay. Well, let's vote. <laughs> let's vote. I don't. I don't want to fight Loretta. I'm probably going to lose that. I got this him on is, both this sides. This is where it gets really hard, too, because so you're looking at it also from the business perspective, right? Right. And when you want to make it as a photographer, everybody has clean images, but you have one that stands out. Exactly. And one everybody that's creative. Has this. Yeah. Let's vote. Bam, to the right. I have no vote. I, can't, I gotta agree vote. with all of it. That's I'm the on problem. The, I'm on the image on the left. So you're, you're, you're the tiebreaker. I'm a tiebreaker. So. I'm a very, I can't do that's what happens. When you, that's what happens when you wait. You should have jumped in and voted. Then you wouldn't have to be in the tiebreaker there. All right. So we have uh, we have a vote. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we have full agreement, but we do have a vote. So let's send it to print. Creators, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Today was a really frustrating day for me to watch you work. You guys have got to change your work process. I'm watching you guys shoot before ever getting dialed in on light. You're posing the model, giving her directions, and you have no idea what your light looks like. That is going to bite you in the ass. Always start with lighting. You've got to make sure that's dialed in before you start directing people. However, we did see the final images, and I must say, well done. So you all produced incredible work today. Every one of you worked hard to stand out. However, you know how this works. One of you will be going home today. Our judges today are fellow Canon Explorers of Light, Vanessa Joy and Loretta Houston. Vanessa is a wedding and portrait photographer based in Austin, Texas. Loretta is a fashion, editorial, and commercial photographer based in LA. When your image is shown, please step forward so we can critique your work today. All right, Brody, step forward. Uh, Vanessa, you want to start on this one? Yes. I love this image. I don't, I'm assuming you did it in post, but I love the warm on top, cool on the bottom. The hand placement was gorgeous. And I even enjoyed the hand that's technically in like a claw fashion on the one side. It just became interesting because it was a reflection. So that's a great example of breaking the rules in a good way. Brody, this is a very good image. I think where it fell apart is in post-production. So it was a little too heavy handed for my taste. Uh, you know, hey, look, we all have different styles when it comes to post-production, but I should not be able to see the post-production. And what jumped out at me was the really, really heavy DB work, dodging and burning. And so in that bottom right-hand corner of the image, it's just got muddy. And I don't know if that was in capture or that was your work. I think you have to be careful of that because like Vanessa said, you did a really, really good job uh, on the top and bottom of it. It was a very, very interesting image. Uh, the pose works, the lighting works. So there's a lot of things you did right with this, but it's that we're getting to a point now in this competition where those details, especially post-production, are gonna make or break the image. Uh, for me, this is one of my favorites. Um, the cropping is great, the reflection is great. Still, again, there's still some, you know, dodging and burning that's really heavy here. But overall, this is one of my favorites. Brody, your journey continues, congratulations. Bethany, step forward. Bethany, I find the crop that you're starting to use on some of these images more panoramic. I think it's very interesting and it's worked. It worked in your last image for sure. Uh, and it's definitely working in this image uh, as well. But uh, there is a major flaw in this image. You have the wrong eye in focus. And this, and this really goes, I, I'm not trying to beat a dead horse on this. This really goes to my point. 
We get so caught up as photographers in just shooting and moving, and I know the constraints of the competition are putting pressure on you guys, but you've got to slow down, zoom in, check details, and make sure you got what you want, especially before you move on to another scene, right? So a very difficult image to pull off. You definitely put some thought into it, uh, but that's really something that held this image back uh, from moving a little bit further along and being considered for a winning image. Loretta? I actually love this image. Just, you know, a little disappointed based on the focus of the eyes. I think if you pump up, pump up the contrast on this, I think you'll get more dynamic image as well. For me personally, I would have liked just a tiny, tiny bit more breathing room on the top and bottom. I'm not sure if you were trying to get distracting things out of there, um, but that's also coming into play with, if you're gonna have something that tight, that eye better be tack freaking sharp. Yeah, the journey continues. Congratulations, Bethany. Next image. Jess, I wanna start on this image if that's okay with the two of you. This, uh, this was my favorite image. Um, and my opinion, this should have won uh, today. Uh, this was incredibly well done. I'm really, really proud of you. Um, from the square crop, to the diagonal cut through uh, on the image, to the toning of the image, to the skin, incredible image. I don't have a single negative thing to say about it. Loretta? I don't have anything negative to say about it either. I mean, it was one of my favorites as well. Um, I just want you to push it a little bit on creativity because there's a lot of images I see that are the same of this type of photography. So just push it a little bit, you know, add a little something, I don't know, something. But it's, it's amazing. There's nothing really wrong with it at all. I would say the same thing. One thing that impressed me a lot with this image was that perfect three-quarter capture and profile. That, I mean, just that amazing. amazing attention to detail. Everything is absolutely gorgeous here, including the creativity with the crop and the diagonal. Uh, we, we fought over the winning image between the winning one and the uh, for quite, quite some time. It was quite a, <laughs> a deliberation, let's put it that way. Yeah, uh, and done. something I wanna highlight for everybody who's watching uh, at home or uh, just for everybody here to, to really understand what makes this image so difficult is the eyes. A lot of times when we get stuck in reflections, one, the main image looks good, the eyes look good, but then on the reflection, the eyes are a little wonky or vice versa. The eyes are good in the reflection, but then wonky in real life. You nailed it both sides of this reflection. Well, well done. Jess, your journey continues. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo, and then there were two. Leroy, Lisa, step forward. This image was extremely clean. It was, you know, well-balanced. Skin tones are there, retouching is there. One thing that bothered me was the crop. Uh, if you're going to commit to half a face, I want to see half the face. I don't want to see the other nostril. I don't want to see the other lip. Uh, and then also our point of focus here is smack dab in the middle on a more panoramic print. It needs to be on that top third, bottom third. Uh, it just needed to be adjusted slightly. I think you missed the challenge on this one. Um, yes, we see the reflection of the eye, but if that is your main focus for the challenge, it should have been cropped more. Um, so that we can acknowledge the reflection in the eye. But I think you just need to put a little bit more creativity in this because now we're, we're, we're far into the competition here and we need to see you guys level it up and I just don't see it here. Yeah, I agree. The one thing that jumped out to us, Lisa, was the, the crop, it wasn't clear, right? That eye, if, if it was about the eye and the reflection in that eye, that should have been in that top third and that eye, as far as compositionally speaking, uh, and that was another subject of discussion for us was, I would actually like to have seen more chin, bring the eye into the top third, and give me more on the bottom. We can go round and round on how to crop an image, but to Loretta's point, at this stage of the competition, these details do matter. Next image. Um, I wanna start, I'm, I'm gonna start with this image if it's okay. Uh, Leroy, scale of one to 10 difficulty, this was a 10, right? Long exposure, multiple exposures, uh, really, really well done. I was working with you when you were doing it and you had really thought through this uh, as far as putting this plan together for multiple frames. The thing that just, I'm just so frustrated because this could have been so much better. 
everything around it, it's just distracting to me. I've got a door frame on the left, I've got a closet door cutting through her head, uh, I see the reflection of the door, I see another horizontal wall from, what is it, Wayne's coating or whatever's coming up the, the front side of that wall. These things to me are distracting from what you were trying to accomplish. Like I said, scale of one to 10 difficulty, 10, hats off. Um, but that's where this image really, really missed for me. I actually love this image. I feel like it can be in vogue. It is very editorial. It is something different. I have never seen this type of image. It's a kudos for me. I look at this image and I think, I think a few things. I think new trends these days almost highlight bad photography concepts. Because um, when we look at this, like Sal said, I'm looking at bad photography concepts when it comes to the things going through the head and the door but it's a very impactful image. So it was very difficult for us to kind of toy between that. Um, between impact and execution. Between impact, execution, and technical photography correctness. Unfortunately, guys, only one of you can move forward in this competition, and for the other, the journey must end. Uh, so in my hands, I'm holding the winning image. Leroy, congratulations. <laughs> Guys, I will tell you, Leroy, uh, this was not my vote for the winning image. But uh, we fought for it because this will win you photography jobs. This yes. will get attention. This will make you a successful photographer, even if it's not technically perfect. I 110% agree. So Leroy, congratulations. Your journey continues. <laughs> Lisa, you fought long and hard in this competition. You lasted longer than you thought you were gonna last here. Uh, you have an incredible look, uh, and that look is going to win you a lot of business. Uh, it's a very clean style of photography. There is no doubt about that. Uh, you are working amongst your peers here. So the challenge for you moving forward really is what it came down to is just pushing your limits. Push a little further because you are incredibly gifted and incredibly talented. Don't ever forget that. Lisa, unfortunately, today your journey will not continue. Good luck. I'm gonna cry. I never thought I would get here. Never thought I would make it past the first day. Um, the amount of talent that I have been surrounded with this week is amazing. These last images, amazing, amazing, beautiful. Um, so just to be in the company of this level of talent. Uh, I am humbled. Uh, I'm not sad I'm going home. Like this has absolutely been incredible. I've met some amazing photographers. Uh, I have felt new friendships. This has been great. And again, I'm, I'm just beyond honored and humbled that I even had the opportunity to do this. Top five. Uh, won one of the competitions, like, that's amazing.